Hey everyone, and welcome to Cookie Crumb Fun. Here we talk about Trim Healthy Mama and our homeschool. Today, I have a Trim Healthy Mama collab going along with other Trim Healthy Mama YouTubers. And if you check out the playlist below, you'll be able to check out their recipes and what they're gonna be sharing, because today's theme is our favorite muffins in a mug. So stay tuned and see what my favorite muffins in a mugs are, and then go check out the playlist below and see what the others are. If you're not subscribed to their channels, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you check out all their content because they have lots on Trim Healthy Mama. So let's get right into going and talking about my favorite recipes. So I have two muffin in a mug recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you. One is from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook, not the table cookbook, Trim Healthy Mama table, but the first cookbook. And it is called the Cinnamon Swirl, right? Cinnamon Swirl Muffin. It is an e-muffin that is one of the most delicious and flavorful muffins. And then the other one is a fuel pull cake and it is called Spice Cakes. And that was from the Trim Healthy, Bob, Trim Healthy Mama blogger, uh, Sherry Graham. So I'm going to not show you the process of making them, but I'm gonna show you little bits and pieces of me throwing it together and baking it and then um, give you a little review of me eating it because I am trying it in the oven instead of the microwave this time just to try something different. So go ahead and keep watching and I'm gonna throw in all the video of me making it and eating it and let you know how I like it any different from the microwave. So here are the two muffins that I'm showing you. I have the apple swirl muffin from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook and I have the fuel pull, well, these are at me, and I have a fuel pull spice cakes from Sherry Graham's website. I will have links below to these as I've mentioned and I just wanted to let you know that I'm cooking these in the oven and not the microwave. I always cook them in the microwave and they turn out just great. So this time I had extra time so I thought I would throw them in the oven to see how they turn out. So here's how they look before they go in. It fills up two cups or you can cook it in one of these little ramekins or a coffee cup whatever you use. I usually cook it in these little ramekins that I have. And um, that's it right there. Here they are, fresh out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool off. This one seems really done, but this one was still a little soft, so I left it in, the, I turned the oven off and just left it in there for two minutes and it seemed to do exactly what I needed it to get done. So for the spice cakes, which are fuel pull, you, um, keep, to keep it a fuel pull, you make some sweetened Greek yogurt to put on top for frosting, or you can just leave them plain. Or if you wanna turn it into an S, you can do whipping cream or cream cheese frosting. Either would be fine, but then you'd be taking it out of fuel pull territory. The E's, you want to just leave it the way they are. These are the best E muffins ever. Well, besides the peach ones that they have, but um, you've got to try these. But I will take them out and let you see what they look like out of the muffin pan and put them on the plate. Here the muffins are out of the pan. And as you can see, there are two good sized muffins. This is like, um, you know, not those giant ones you get from the bakery that are loaded with a bunch of garbage, you know, but um, the like a cupcake size, right? This is, I'm, I'm really impressed. I may have been convinced to cook mine in the oven from now on. Because look, instead of eating one in a bowl, you're going to be able to have two and you're going to have that, you know, that hand to mouth eating that we love. Oh, this is going to be so good. I cannot wait to eat these. All right, so I'm going to um, dig into these so that you can see the insides. And I had already put one packet of Truvia into um, a little bit of Greek yogurt. I don't know, that might be two tablespoons or so. I don't know. So, oh, these are my favorite e-muffins. They truly are. And it is, um, it's really, these are really good because uh, you need your E's. And if you're not, you know, you might be tired of eating oatmeal, you might not be creative in your e-dinners or lunches, so you can get in an e-snack or an e-breakfast with these. And what you could do is for a snack, I mean, if you're not that hungry, you can do it this way and just eat one. Um, this is a snack on the go, a breakfast on the go. You could um, make more and you could freeze these. And you only use half the apple in this recipe and then it says in the cookbook, you know, go ahead and snack on the apple while this is baking because you don't want to miss out on those carbs. Or um, you can use it to make another muffin, you know. So there is no food waste on this one. And there are no special ingredients. If you have the, the cookbook, it's the Trim Healthy Mama baking blend and oatmeal. So, um, oh, this this really good one. And then this one is uh, low cost also 
because if you go look up the recipe at the link below, it is coconut flour and um, oat fiber. So there's another thing. If you're worried about the oat fiber, it's just so you know, oat fiber is not oatmeal ground up to oat flour. It's oat fiber, okay? It's all fiber, so it's like negative carbs, you know, minus the carbs in it. So um, you can get together with a friend and order it online and split it because that's probably one of the best and cheapest ways to get oat fiber. You're not going to be able to go to the store, I don't think, and buy it. Does anybody know? I've never seen it in the store. I bought mine online, I think, from Nutrition or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, that is um, a great snack. Now, this is a spice cake, but as you can see, you know, it's, it's, it's a great muffin. It's a great breakfast. And this one I ate a lot when I first started Trim Healthy Mama because it was um, no special ingredients, really. But the oat fiber technically kind of still is, but Trim Healthy Mama does sell it if you buy your products from Trim Healthy Mama. So I'm going to get a knife and cut them open so you can see the insides. So here they are, cut open. And the e-muffin did fall apart a little bit. It's not dry. It's just not holding together well, I guess. And then, as you can see, this one looks like it needs to get cooked some more at the top. So the bottom half is cooked, and the top part is kind of like that little uncooked part. It's still all going to taste good, but as I did put it in for an extra two minutes, this the e-muffin said 15 minutes, and this said 15 to 20. So I put them both in the same pan next time. I probably should have taken the E out and left this in. This is just the first time I've ever baked it, so now I know for next time. Do not share the pan with a um, muffin that cooks less. But it's still going to taste so good. And this is like, these are fantastic cake. These, these really are. I can't express how much. I have, um, I'll put a, um, an I card above to the me actually making this recipe because I went over it when I was doing some blogger recipes. So uh, you'll see that above, but this is really good. So now I'm going to taste them and see how different they taste. I tell you, I could have eaten all of this right now. I'm going to finish it when I'm done with this video. That is so delicious. So much flavor in that muffin. So much flavor. You've got to go try that muffin. This is the cookbook that it's in, the original Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. All right? But, um... This one is so good, too. I'm eating it going, wow, it's been too long since I made this. This is really good. Now, yeah, the, um, sorry about my big finger. The part that's not cooked, yeah, I could tell when I ate it. I wasn't, earlier I thought maybe it wasn't going to make a difference, but it does. But the flavors are so delicious in this cup. This, what was it, cupcake, whatever this is. What is it, a cake? <laughs> so try it and cook it a little bit longer. Then 15 minutes. Probably it needs the whole 20 minutes. In, well, in my oven at least. So I hope you enjoyed um, seeing these. And I will have links below to each recipe. Well, not this one. I'll have a link below to this one. And this one I will have the page number in the cookbook. So there you have it. Those two are my top two favorite muffins in a mugs. I really love that cinnamon one. That is so flavorful. I highly recommend it if you have the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook or if you have a friend who has the cookbook, have her loan it to you so you can check out the recipe and you can make it, as I mentioned, for breakfast with a cup of collagen tea, collagen coffee, a trimmy. Um, you can make it with um, for a snack. And as you saw, it made two really good sized muffins in my muffin pans. And if you cooked it in the microwave in one of those little cups, those muffin cups, or um, I don't know what those cups are called, but you know what I mean or in a mug, you know, it's one giant muffin, but I think cooking it in the oven really worked out so much better than I thought it would. And then the spice cake really did. After eating it for a while, you know, tasting it, I really should have cooked it a little bit longer. But I hope you try them out. If you've tried the two of those muffins, I would love for you to tell me how you like them and how you, which way of cooking it you prefer. So as I mentioned, this is a collaboration. There are other YouTubers that are participating in this and they have shared their favorite muffins in a mugs also. So I would love for you to go check out the playlist because this is the end of the video. It is down in the description box and see what they're cooking up in their kitchens for their favorite muffins in a mugs. So thank you so much for watching this and until next time, be a blessing.